Hey y'all and welcome back to Mill and Tater. Today I'm going to be sharing what's for dinner. It's some simple recipes and one that's extremely simple. You'll see when you watch the video. But if you're new to our family, we'd love to have you subscribe, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. So tonight I'm going to be making a black bean chili and this is actually the first time I've ever done this one. But Tater actually saw when we were on vacation a black bean chili seasoning and I was like, oh I can probably make that at home without buying that. So we're gonna use seasoned black beans, one can of tomato sauce, one can of petite diced tomatoes, the no salt added was just the only thing we could find, which is fine. One pack of seasoning for chili, and one pound of cooked ground beef, and this I actually already had cooked, we had just some extra, someone had cooked it and froze it, and Tater thought it out for me today. We're gonna throw everything in the crock pot. I'll probably do high on two to three hours since everything just really kinda needs to melt together and warm up. So first I'm gonna dump all the hamburger in, and like I said, this was already cooked, and that's what the recipe calls for. So you just, after you cook it, you dump that in. Then we're gonna put the can of diced tomatoes, and you can use petite or regular. We just prefer petite. Then I'm gonna pour in the black beans, and I know people are crazy about rinsing black beans. However, these are seasoned, and I heard people say they don't rinse those. Then we're gonna add the tomato sauce, and then the chili seasoning, and mix that all up. And we're going to let that warm just for, like I said, a couple hours because everything just kind of needed to combine together and heat together. And now we just mix. So, like I said, we're going to eat this in a couple hours. We ran some errands. We came back, and this actually was very good. You'll actually see here in a few minutes or a few seconds, it's going to fog up the camera. But it was really good. I do recommend actually adding an, a can of corn. I'd actually texted Tanner the next day when I had reheated it. And I said, this needs some corn in it. It would be really good. So I think we're going to do that next time. And like I said, this is the first time we've made it. So it did turn out pretty good, though. I would recommend it. The next recipe we're going to make is homemade chicken alfredo. So I've got two chicken breasts that we're just going to cook on the stove. And it actually called for one and a half cup of Parmesan. I'd only do one. The heavy whipping cream, the garlic, butter. Don't come at me for the butter. I already know people. And the pasta. So first what you're going to do is we went ahead and started the water and get that boiling for the pasta. And then Tater went ahead and seasoned the chicken. And I will say too that one of my favorite things to add to this is broccoli and I just completely forgot even though we had some to do it this night but it is good with this recipe as well. And of course once the water was boiling we went ahead and added our noodles and cooked those just how it says on the box. So next I started working on the alfredo sauce and you're going to start with eight tablespoons or one stick of butter. And once you get that all melted down, you're going to add the three cloves of garlic. You're going to let that mix for two minutes. Then you're going to add your one and a half cup of heavy whipping cream. Whisk that for about eight minutes until it's thick. Then add the, it says one and a half cups of Parmesan. I actually only did about one and a quarter in this video. However, I would say just do about one if you don't like it very Parmesan-y because it was very cheesy. And you're also going to add half a teaspoon of pepper. I think I forgot to record that part. And then just whisk it. And you want to make sure that cheese doesn't start clumping up or anything. And I will have all of this in the description box of what I use, the recipes and all. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the music play over this and let you guys watch what we did.
and here's what your alfredo sauce is going to look like like i said you want to make sure that cheese is not clumping up so i just kind of stirred it until everything else was done and here's the final plate i like to put this italian style cheese on it from walmart and it makes the plate delicious and it was really good so here's the really easy meal i was telling you guys about in the intro it's the pepperoni pizza party night and it has one pizza nine wings we actually got 10 and four cookies and it was actually really good just to be a frozen meal so today we're going to make a cheeseburger soup i've never made this before so we'll see how it turns out but it sounds delicious so what you're going to need is one can of diced tomatoes we like to use the petite it actually calls for two pounds of ground beef we're going to use one i'm going to kind of sort of half the recipe we'll see how it goes one cup, or I'm sorry, half a cup of steak sauce. We didn't have any, so I had to make some. I've never done it before, but I will leave the recipe down below for that as well. And later you're going to need, it's, I think also for the full recipe is 16 ounce, but again, I'm going to try to half it. I have a little more than half of that, so we're going to do that, but that'll go in later. And then you're going to need your crock pot. I've already got our set on low and I'm going to let it cook for the day. So I've already got the hamburger in here. And I'm going to dump in the petite diced tomatoes. And then I'm going to attempt to put the steak sauce in here. Like I said, this is us just throwing something together because we didn't have any steak sauce. And we'll see how that goes. And then I'm just going to mix everything together. And the recipe also calls for four cups of onions, I believe. Like I said, I'll have that link down below as well. So... We're not big fans of onions, so I'm going to leave that out. And since this is going to be cooking all day, I think I'm going to add a little bit of beef broth in here. Just so it doesn't burn or anything, because nobody will be home when I'm cooking this. So I did go ahead and add just a little bit of beef broth. I probably could have done a little less this time. And it actually didn't really change it a whole lot, so it was still good. So now what we're going to do, after this has been cooking all day, we're going to add in the cheese. This is the Walmart brand of the Velveeta, as you saw earlier. And just let that sit in there for a little bit on warm. And just keep stirring it every so often to make sure that cheese is really breaking up. So here's what the final looked like. And like I said, I could have done a lot less beef broth, but it still turned out fine and it made it a little soupier. And I will say Tater did end up going ahead and adding one more pound of the ground beef. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you've ever made these or you plan on making these, let me know in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys down there. And like I said before, if you're new to our family, we'd love to have you subscribe. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great weekend.